Okay everyone, so let's have a quick summary of the Boltzmann distribution curve. So this is a statistical representation of the spread of energy across molecules in a system. It effectively shows us that most of the energy that is in a system across all the molecules there, so be it a beaker of water or a volumetric flask of acid, it doesn't really matter too much, but the energy tends to follow a statistically predicted spread. Now, the actual shape then of the curve we need to draw to show where most of the energy lies across this axis, spread across the number of molecules, is a simple curve like that. Now, you can see it starts down here at the origin because you can't have a molecule with zero energy. It never touches the x-axis down here because there's no theoretical maximum energy that a molecule can possess. And if we were looking for our most probable energy, well, that would be the peak of the curve going all the way down here to the energy line. That would be our E most probable, often called the mode. The area under the curve represents the total number of molecules. So if you literally had a count of every single molecule underneath this curve, you'd have how many molecules there are in the whole system. Now, if you were to increase the temperature you would see that the spread of energy moves generally over in this direction. But you've got to make sure you're anchored at the bottom here as you can still occupy these minimum values of energy. So if you were to increase the energy by raising the temperature, you would see that the curve takes on a shape like this. Now we can see that the two curves have only crossed once. The mode is now further to the right but it is actually lower down in terms of the number of molecules that possess it. We can see it's physically lower down that axis compared to the original line that was there before, but the actual value of the mode energy has gone up. Now, the biggest thing that we need to notice is when we had our original curve down here, I'd say roughly there on this one, we actually have our activation energy. Now, in order for a molecule to react upon collision, it has to have the activation energy. That's the minimum amount of energy required for a molecule to react upon collision. Now, what that meant was on our original lower temperature curve before, we had all of these molecules were able to react upon collision. Now, under the higher temperature, the activation energy is still in the same place, but it now includes all of these as well as all of those. So you can see at the higher temperature, you've got many more molecules with energy greater than or equal to the activation energy. What we can then for predict is if we go for a lower temperature curve, if we lower the energy in the system, then everything's gonna move down here, maintaining the anchorage at the bottom, never touching the x-axis still, but we should expect that fewer molecules will have energy greater than or equal to the activation energy. And we see that because this is our curve for the lower temperatures. This is our lowest temperature curve. Once again, we can see that our most probable energy is now at a lower energy value, but look at that. Now we've got many more molecules actually possess it. Although all the way down here, only these molecules would be able to react upon collision because they are the only ones with energy greater than or equal to the activation energy. All of these that were able to react before are no longer in this section. So when we have a lower temperature reaction, the rate of reaction is much, much slower. Final thing to say about all three of these curves that I've got here for different temperatures is that the area under the curve is the same each time because increasing the temperature doesn't just randomly increase the total number of molecules in a system. I hope that clears up some points about the Boltzmann distribution curve. Stay tuned to the rest of the playlist for some more videos to help you prep for the year one exams. Until then, happy revising.